this was not the video I was supposed to film today. <laughs> I was supposed to be filming my November favorites and fails countdown until I got into my makeup area and realized I didn't buy a lot in November and I didn't try a lot in November and I didn't have enough products that I tried enough to review for you for the 10 items. So we're switching gears today and we are going to do a Jen Loves Reviews classic video. I've done it two other times. It's 20 of the best products from 20 different brands in under 20 minutes. It's a fantastic video. I think you're gonna love it. Hang tight, we're getting into it right now. I have not done this video since the summer of 2022 and 2023 is almost over. So we have got to do this video. I'm excited to share with you how my favorites from different brands have changed some new brands that have come into my life, products that I've just absolutely been loving, but we don't have a lot of time. So let's go ahead and jump into the first brand. I'm going to go in order from how I put these products on. So let's start with foundation. I haven't been loving a lot of primers lately. So I didn't do a primer from a brand. I just, I haven't found them necessary recently and that's just my personal skin, my personal taste. So we're going right into foundation. This foundation is amazing. This is the Revlon Illuminant Skin Caring Foundation. I am not gonna speak to the skin caring part. What I'm gonna speak to is the finish. The finish is absolutely gorgeous. It is a satin finish. It is what I'm wearing on my face today. Beautiful lasting power, very easy to blend. I feel like the shade matches me beautifully. This is the shade 217 and it's just a lovely, lovely foundation. I can't think of anything that I want out of a foundation that this doesn't do. Next up, we're going to under eye concealer slash brightener should not be a shock to you if you've been watching my videos over the past few months i am in love with this product from catrice this is the under eye brightener instant awake and that is exactly what it does my friends it has a little bit of a pink tint so you have to kind of consider whether this will work for you i have heard that they have come out with this in a couple of different shades for different skin tones i haven't visually confirmed that but you all have told me that this this is the one that works perfect for my skin and my skin tone. It does a little bit of color correcting, but it also conceals at the same time without looking cakey, without seeping into my fine lines. It is a freaking phenomenal product. Next up, face powder. This is an old favorite of mine, but I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever talked about this in one of the videos that I've done like this. So this is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. This is by far my favorite product from Beauty Bakery. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of good luck with their products. This is the by far standout for me. It is just a beautiful, finely milled powder. It doesn't make my face look powdery. It's just gorgeous. It sets my makeup without making me look matte and flat. That, and it's just a beautiful product. I have a bunch of face powders that I really, really like, and this is definitely one of them. From Gerard Cosmetics. Okay, so I personally really like to mute out discoloration on my eyelid before I do my eyeshadow look. This is the winner right here. This is the clean canvas from Gerard Cosmetics. They do make multiple shades for multiple skin tones. My shade that works the best for me is medium, but I've also used the light and I've also used the white. And what that does is it helps to make my skin one color <laughs> so that when I start my eyeshadow look, it'll just look more put together, brighter, and it also helps my eyeshadow to last longer. Now, the big thing about this that don't, don't go in with a heavy hand, you need the tiniest little bit. Like you can literally just go on the cap here <laughs> and just kind of like, lay, 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 just a little tiny bit or go around the edge of the rim of the product or whatever. Like it is, this little pot will last you forever. <laughs> It'll last you until you feel like you just shouldn't use it anymore because it's a cream product. It is so, so, so good. For the third year in a row, I have not been able to top this at Ulta Beauty. This is the Ulta Beauty eye primer. If you want something that's a little less intense than the Gerard Cosmetics, it's also a little less expensive, definitely go for the Ulta eye primer. It mutes out discoloration. It's absolutely beautiful, very easy to use. Biggest critique of this that isn't the same as the Gerard Cosmetics is they don't make multiple shades of this, so that's kind of a bummer. Also, just a warning, the shimmer one is not good. You definitely wanna go for the matte one. 
from Hindash. Last time I talked about his eyeliner, which is freaking phenomenal. This time I wanted to show you a product that I started using a little bit differently. These are his color fluids. And what I've been using these for is to alter my foundation shade. So for example, if I buy a foundation and it is slightly too light for me, what I typically use is the carve shade, which can also be used for contouring. I put a little bit of foundation on my hand. I put a little bit of the carve shade. I mix it in and then I apply my foundation and it's absolutely beautiful. If carve is not enough for you and you need something deeper, you can go with this one. This one is called thorn. This works just the same. If you have the opposite problem where you have trouble with picking a shade, and it's usually too dark, you can go for the lightest shade. This one is called Canvas. You can also use this as an eye primer. It works great as an eye primer. They're just really good, versatile products where you can use them for all kinds of things. And I absolutely love love these products. This was a purchase I made after I talked about sunset makeup on What's Up in Makeup. And I, I am so shocked at how much I love this. I'm actually wearing it today. This is the sunset makeup freckle product. It is just so easy to use. And the freckles that this makes look so, so, so natural. You don't have to move ridiculously fast like some products. It doesn't go on too pigmented like some products. I know some people that live with freckles and got picked on for their freckles their whole life are really upset that people are now drawing on freckles. But I think that there's just a new appreciation for the beauty of freckles. And some people that weren't born with them are realizing how freaking cute freckles are and people are adding them to their face. I do have some natural freckles, but not as many as I used to when I was younger. So sometimes, especially if I'm wearing a more full coverage foundation, I want to make my skin look a little bit more natural by adding some freckles on top. So highly recommend if you're looking for a freckle product to check out Sunset Makeup. For brows, I actually don't have a brow pencil to show you this time, but I do have a brow shaping product that I've really been enjoying. I'm actually shocked at how much I love this. This is the Too Faced Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. It is what I'm wearing on my brows today, That why they're at such an angle. Now, when I first started using this and when I put this in a favorites and fails countdown, I thought that this was just it, that the, just the application was all there was to this. But oh no, there is so much more to this because if you take the cap off, there are additional grooming products inside the cap. So I haven't figured out a great way to use the brush side. Maybe that's for people with more brows, with lots of brows. I feel like I have kind of a moderate amount of brows, so I tend to use the comb side to really make sure that my brows are going the direction that I want them to. And I freaking love this product. It really holds my brows in that fluffed up look that is so, so popular right now. And I feel like even if the fluffed up brow trend goes away, I will still really like this product because I don't have to comb them up. I can still comb them to the side and have them stay where I want them to stay, even if it's just in a more natural position. For mascara, I did not expect Benefit to be coming in with a mascara, but I am loving this so much. This is the new Benefit Fan Fest mascara. It is so good. It lengthens, it volumizes. I love the curve on the brush. It is what I'm wearing on my lashes today. I'm not wearing any false lashes. My lashes are so wimpy, you would never be able to see them even if you were close to me. <laughs> my natural lashes, you cannot see them. So the fact that like my lashes are visible to me in my monitor just makes me so happy. <laughs> So yes, 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 on the Benefit Fan Fest mascara, it is so good. If you have short, sparse, wimpy lashes, if you already have naturally long lashes, it may be a little too intense for you. I never have problems with smudging with my mascara. I haven't had any problems with flaking with this. Lasting power is great. It is a little bit difficult to remove. I do have to go in twice with an oil-based makeup remover in order to remove it. It's just kind of a nitpick of something that I don't really like about it, but the effect is so beautiful that I'll I'll spend a little bit of extra time trying to get it off. For cheek products, I have three for you. The first one is the bronzer I'm wearing today from Sigma. Sigma's bronzers are something that are not talked about nearly enough. This is the matte bronzer in light. This one is perfect for my skin tone, but of course they have many skin tones available. It's just a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. It goes on very easily, very easy to blend, very easy to build. It's everything that I want a bronzer to be. And, oh, and it's not 
not orange, which is something for me and my skin tone, that is something I do not want in my bronzer. So I'm really happy that it's not an orangey toned bronzer. For blush, you may be surprised that I'm talking about this, but this is actually a really, really good product. This is from Jones Road. Now Jones Road, you have to know what you're getting into when you get into Jones Road. You're gonna get into a more natural look. That's what Jones Road is all about. So with their blushes, they are very, very natural, but you can build them up just a little bit, but you can't build them up so far that they're going to look like you were wearing a lot of blush. This is in the shade Dusty Rose. I didn't wear it today because I usually wear this on days that I'm not filming, that I'm looking for a more natural everyday look. Lasting Power, again, is fantastic. You just have to kind of keep in mind that this is not for people that want a really poppy blush look or somebody that these kinds of low pigmentation products just don't show up on. But if you are looking for something that will show up that is a more bold blush, definitely check out the Makeup by Mario blushes. This one is not called Dusty Rose, it is called Desert Rose. <laughs> You can see which kinds of shades I tend to gravitate toward. I really like rose shades on me. This one is your pigmented blush. This is the one that's going to show up on you. It does take a little bit more work to blend, but you can put it on sheer and you can also build it up to a much more intense pigmentation if that's the kind of look you go for or if you need an intense pigmentation to show up on your skin tone. Moving on to eyeshadow palettes, let's talk Sydney Grace. Of course, my favorite Sydney Grace product of all time is the Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace collab. This is called Tiny Marbles. Mel Thompson was a friend of mine who sadly passed away a couple of years ago. This is the palette she designed. And this was actually how Mel and I kind of got introduced to each other because I reviewed her palette and we became friends shortly after that. So Mel knew my favorite shade in this, which is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I'm wearing this palette on my eyes today is the shade Fire Butts. I love that shade. It Just the name of it made me laugh. It's named after the color of the butt of a lightning bug. <laughs> and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I'm also wearing on my eyes today the shade Scarab. That's the shade that's on the outer corner of my eyes. I'm also using the shade Death Moth and Spider up in McCree's. And then on my lower lash line, I use the shade Love Bug and the shade Bugaboo is what is down there. But this is just such a beautiful palette excellent pigmentation, very easy to blend, very easy to work with, just a beautiful, very unique color story. Mel just really had that eye for color and how to work with it. And I can honestly say this is still my favorite product from Sydney Grace. It is still available. They keep this available on their site and a percentage of sales still goes to Mel's family. Two other eyeshadow palettes for you. One is from the brand Alter Ego. I have been absolutely loving their Midsummer palette. Just because it's called Midsummer doesn't mean you can't use it in the fall and the winter. You can still use it in the fall and the winter. Beautiful, beautiful shades in this palette. I believe in my interpretation, my impression is that it was inspired by an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. It looks very similar as far as the color choices in here. So if the ABH palette was out out of your price range and you are looking for something that is very similar, I highly, highly recommend this. It is a beautiful palette, very easy to use. And then another indie brand that is new to me this year that I'm absolutely loving is Gourmand Girls. Oh my goodness, amazing, amazing quality. If you're looking for something a little more intense, a little more traditional indie brand, you definitely wanna check out Gourmand Girls. This is the Nightshade palette. This is the first palette they sent over and I am loving this. Of course, Midsummer is going to be more natural people. This is going to be, Tiny Marvels is going to be kind of in between. And Nightshade is for the color lovers. These shades in here are so unique and so fun. I especially love the shade Flowering. I have nothing like that in my collection. I also really love the shade Poisonous. Just really, really beautiful. I mean, it's the whole palette is freaking gorgeous and really fun to play with. This is a toy palette. It is so enjoyable to use. All right, let us move on to lip products and then we are done. Now BK Beauty is very much known for their brushes. Not, their lipsticks are not talked about nearly enough. They have a fantastic lipstick formula. The three shades I'm going to show you today are a shade called Self Love. The second one is called Inner Beauty and the third one is called Kindness. Just very creamy, easy to use, beautiful, beautiful lipstick formula. Not a super intense 
intense pigmentation, but enough color that you know you're wearing some lipstick and they're really, really pretty. If you want something a little more intense, just as comfortable and just as underrated, check out the Sephora lipsticks. These are on sale all the time. Like, all the time. And you know when the Sephora sales come around, they're 30% off. They're already not even that expensive. The shade I'm wearing on my lips today is the shade called Yum Yum. It's got these little cookies on there, but don't let that fool you. It does not smell like cookies. For me, very disappointing, but very comfortable, very long wearing, just a beautiful, beautiful formula. Y'all know how much I rave about the ColourPop eyeshadows, but I know those don't work for everybody. So I wanted to show you a lip product that I really love from them. And I've really been loving a lot lately. This is the ColourPop ultra blotted lip. This is a more sheer formula. It's a really pretty formula. I'm personally digging on the shade Espresso Martini. I've been wearing this one a lot lately. It's just got a different feel to it than a traditional lipstick bullet. It's got, uh, it's a little drier. It dries down and it gives you more of that sheer blotted lip look rather than an opaque formula. And then last, I have a lip oil and a lip gloss. Let's talk about the lip gloss gloss first. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It is a beautiful gloss. It feels good on the skin. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky or anything. It pairs well with lipstick. It's just a wonderful, wonderful formula. And then finally, these are pretty new, if I'm not mistaken. These are the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oils. They're all wonderful. It's really just about which color you feel like works the best for you. The one that I'm showing you today is Cocoa, and it does have a little bit of a cocoa scent. Whichever one you you choose, it does have a little bit of that scent to it, which I personally really, really like. This is going to be a little bit more pigmented than the Maybelline Lifter glosses, but not by much. This is going to give you more of a sheer wash of color, but they are really, really, really beautiful. And that was it. I don't know how long I've been filming, but I'm really hoping it's less than 20 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found this helpful. I would love to know because at this point, my friend, it is your turn in the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness where we help each other not to buy crap and to buy things that are totally worth it. I would love to know your thoughts on anything I talked about today. Are there things that you would have included that I didn't include? Do you agree with what I included? No matter what your thoughts, I would love to know them down in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you would like to hang out just a little bit longer, YouTube should be recommending a couple of videos for you over here to watch, including one that I picked out for you special on the bottom. YouTube's gonna pick the top one based on your viewing history, but if you do need to go, I get it. It is no problem at all. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did. And mad love to you. And I will see you in a video very, very soon.